previously on Zoom in. Understand that selfishness and individualism, my life is about myself, is far more rampant in a South African narrative mm. than hostility or rejection of mm. faith or religion. Mm. You know, we sometimes get influenced by first world, post, 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 post Christian countries to think that we cannot ask a waiter or waitress, can I pray for you? Mm. We're not allowed to say, I would like my God to bless you. Mm. In South Africa, we don't find that hostility towards someone wanting a conversation around faith and around life. Mm. What we much rather find in the context of South Africa is, I don't want to sacrifice for you anymore. Mm. You are causing me a inconvenience. And that's why I think that this kind of intentional life is a phenomenal way to get a foot in the door to share the gospel with people and to invite them into community. Mm. Because that's what's the alternative narrative at this moment. Mm. You know, the alternative narrative is not a life of faith. Welcome Rooted Fellowship family, one and all. A special welcome to our guests who are visiting us on this platform. We're so happy that you could join us today. My name is Tepo Gotura Mabo and I will be your host for today. What this means is I will be helping you navigate through our service. To tell you a little bit about our church, we are about three things. We are gospel-centered, disciple-making and transcultural. To just double click on the link, which is gospel centered. What gospel centered is, is a life that is saturated around the perfect birth, life, perfect death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ, and the return of Him, affirming Him as our Lord and Savior. At this moment, we would like to take time to thank all those who give generously. It, ways through their resources, time, and capital, and also appeal to those who do not yet to We'd ask that you would prayerfully consider doing so. And for more information relating to this, I'd like to direct you to our website, which is rootedfellowship.com. Remember that we give because we have received from God, and that this is an act should you be one who is in need of this time, I ask that you send an email to community at rootedfellowship.com and the church will see how God to assist you during your time of need. Rooted Fellowship is also a praying church. At this moment, we're going to transition into a time of prayer. A slide will come up on your screen with different uh, points of prayer which we'd like you to pray over. You're more than welcome to press pause and pray for anything over and above that what you see before you. Let us pray.
Hey everyone, it's Oni here uh, with my good friend. Uh, many of you would definitely know him, Sitle uh, Ulu. Did I say it right, bro? Yeah, you said it right, bro. That's, that's on a tongue. Um, so uh, we we have been in a series that we've titled "Zoom In," and we've been looking at, at the mission of the church. What does it mean to be on mission as the local church? And, and we've been focusing particularly uh, at Luke chapter four, verses eighteen and nineteen. And it's been an incredible couple of weeks. Uh, just hearing some of the feedback uh, from many of you, just being deeply encouraged and convicted, uh, realizing that. Those who are called are also sent. Now, uh, these last few weeks, last week and now this week, is we wanted to be a little bit more practical. We wanted to get into kind of the, the nuts and bolts of what it looks like, what it means to be the hands and feet of Jesus where we live, work, and play. And so last week we spoke uh, to one of our church planting residents, uh, Reino Mayer, who's planting Fellowship City in the Centurion area. And, and it was incredible. If you missed it, I want to encourage you to go and listen to it and, and just uh, really, really exciting about what God has laid 
on his heart and the team that he has around him. Now, this week, we're chatting to uh, the other church planting resident uh, from Rooted Fellowship who will be planting out with his wife, Letabo, uh, their two kids and a team around them uh, in Moederfontein. 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 Why is it not Moederfontein? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Modern, okay. Modern Fontaine, <laughs> Modern Fontaine yeah. uh, which is in the east of Joburg. Um, and, uh, and so I'm super excited to hear from him. And again, we're going to jump into some of the, 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 the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritties of what it means to live a missional lifestyle. And so, Cicle, what's up? All good, man. How are you? Very good. Very good. Very good. good. Very good, excited. Good, good. Thanks, yeah. thanks for having me. Yeah. Absolutely. I couldn't think of a better way to wrap up our sermon series, Zoom In, by chatting to you and what you guys are looking at doing in the Easter of Johannesburg. So maybe maybe chat to us a little bit about your church plant, yeah. right? Uh, uh, tell us the name, if you guys already have one. Uh, I know you do. Yeah, uh, spoiler do. alert. <laughs> um, and, uh, and talk to us a little bit about the area that you're looking mm. to plant in. Yeah. So our name is uh, Renewal Fellowship. Um, I'll, I'll probably get to that later why we call it renewal. Uh, it's, it's actually, a, I think it's a good story. Um, so we are in Motorfontaine, uh, and Motorfontaine is actually, uh, it's, 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 it's a newish area. It's an old area that has come up again, sort of new things have come, have, have come through there. Um, it's actually, so we would like to, to define it as in sort of, we are in three areas. We are in Edenvale, Greenstone, Greenstone Hill, and Motorfontaine. And, and those areas actually sort of connect to one another. So you've got Edenvale, which is like an old sort of suburb in the east. And then you, had, you have Greenstone, which is sort of a, um, a, a place, maybe, maybe like I would say 10, 15 years old, with a lot of complexes, sort of young families. Um, and then now you have Motorfontaine, which is more newer with uh, a new build, I mean, new complexes and stuff. So you sort of, uh, you've got an old place, Edenvale, you've got a newish one, uh, a Greenstone, and then you have, you've had Motorfontaine. So Motorfontaine, which is sort of where we based, um, would be a place where it's actually, it's a young area, meaning you've got young families. Um, it's normally people who don't want to, uh, live in Senton, but they work in Senton. It's like 10, 10 15 minutes away from Senton. Uh, so even when they they advertise their complex or whatever, they say, man, Motorfontaine, you are 10 minutes from, from Senton, but you don't actually live there. So it's a great advertising. Yeah, yeah it, is, advertising. it is. It is. So you, you get a lot of traffic going uh, to and fro from there. So that's exact, those, those are sort of people that are there. Um, it's sort of in the middle of... Joburg in the east. So Motorfontaine and Greenstone, they actually fall under Joburg. But then Edenvale fall under East Rand, which will be Eguruleni. So it's literally at the border of, we are, um, again, 10 minutes from Senton, but at the, same t- at the same time, 10 minutes from Kempton Park. I'm right in the middle. We're like right in the middle. Which I think is a, it's a, it's a, it's a great place. As I'm saying, a, there's a new stuff, new developments happening there. And I think it, it's just a great place for us to start a community of faith. Um, so we're excited about what God is doing there. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that's been happening, just groundwork we've been doing with the team. And, and I'm really excited what God is going to do. Super exciting. Maybe yeah. can I ask a quick question yeah. on, on just the area uh, and great, great explanation of, yeah. of that, that area. It's, it's man, I, I would have never imagined that's what it's like, like being 10 minutes away yeah. uh, from Santon, but at the same time, very, very close to Ekurulene. I mean, that's, that's incredible. Prime real yeah. estate. Yeah. Um, but as you think about, you know, the, the context that you're going out into and, and that you live in right yeah. now, yeah. and many of your, your team does as well, um, what, what would you say are some of the challenges of, of the folks that are there? Like what, what, what are some of the idols of yep. the area? Yep. Um, that's kind of the language that we, we like to use. Like what do people run hard after instead of Jesus? Yeah. Man, that's such a good question. I think for, for, for Mother Fontaine, it's, it would be, as I say, like the area is just, it's, 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 it's filled with, with young families. And I'll say probably the first one would be family, family life. We have a lot of picnic spots. You have a lot of, I mean, you've got a Motor Fontaine's Reserve. You've got the markets there. And all you see is young families. People love to spend that time with families. Whether it's Sunday, whether it's Saturday, wh- whenever. It's just their time for them to catch up. Because they, 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 they live a busy life and they've got families. Mm-hmm. I definitely understand that I'm part of, of, of that setup. Which I, I think for me it becomes, not easier, but it's, it, it becomes that connection point with people. I mean, I, I'm more exactly where you are. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would say family is a big one. I'll also say work. Mm-hmm. Um, work, again, people there, 
you know, 10 minutes from Centen or, or wherever they, they, they're they working around there. People work hard hours. I, I would say even the people that are part of our team, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, and we get to see that just it's just work. Mm -hmm. So when it, when it comes to city groups, when it comes to Sundays, when it comes to serving in different ways, I mean, you have to really work around that because mm -hmm. people are really working hard. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll say like family, uh, and pep again, that's connect also connected. People are working hard to provide for their families. You, who would say, is there anything wrong with that? But at the same time, if if that's connected or disconnected from God, mm. it's a huge mm. everything. Just give it a matter of time, and then everything crashes, mm. and people have got nowhere to go. So I think that's that's a big one with with mm. with that area. Family, you will do anything. You will push anything away so that you could be with your family. But at the same time, work, 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 work. Yeah, and yeah. that's the crazy thing about idols is that yeah. uh, usually they are good things, right? Things uh, created by God, given to us uh, to enjoy. Yeah. Oftentimes then instead of worshiping the one who gave them to us, we end up worshiping those very things. That's right? so good. So it's good that you know that. Yeah. Um, it speaks that, you know, or well, it's telling that you are aware of your context. Yeah. Um, maybe let's transition a little bit and talk about uh, just kind of a, a missional lifestyle and, and personal missional lifestyle, right? So what, what does that look like? We're going to talk a little bit about the church in a moment, okay. um, but w what are some personal rhythms uh, for you yep. so that you ensure that you're being obedient to the Great Commission? Yeah, yeah. Man, that's, that's so interesting because, I mean, uh, uh, we actually thought about it very hard with my wife on, on, on where we're going to stay on whether we, you know, we're gonna be in one of those gated areas, or whether we're gonna just have a like a like a home, or when they make, in a, I'm saying just a house, the like normal suburb house, or like a complex, all of those things, and we ended up uh, going for a complex, and the complex we are in is is it's it's it's, it's huge. Uh, which makes it for us, it was a, such a missional sport to say, man, you've got these people, all of these people around you. Uh, you sort of, they're all gated with you. You, you. you live life together. We've got like a, 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 a clubhouse where people gather on weekends. Uh, it's just easy to make neighbors. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to make neighbors. And I think for us, that's a, that was a big one. We had to think about that. And I, so I'm guessing the first thing would be even where, where you stay, it, it, there's, a, there's a sense that you need to think, man, it's not just uh, this place is great, I want to stay there. I'm going there as an ambassador of Christ. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm, I don't want to sound all spiritual, but like mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is. I'm going in there as an ambassador of Christ, and therefore it's not a mistake that I'm going to be there. Christ is going to put me there for a reason. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things we thought about. But also just, man... The simple things. For me, I think about even just a mission life in a simple way. We've got a, a, a shell garage down the road. I try to put my petrol there almost every every time when I when I when I need petrol. I know the guys. It's just, you know, you get to greet the guys, you know that the, the people who work in, in, in sort of the shop inside there, you know them. Uh, different places the the sort of the shopping center there. You go to the same spot for Pizza Tuesdays. We hang out for Pizza Tuesday with my wife. Nice. Uh, the specials. But you get to know people. You, we know the ladies there, the guys that work there. Yeah, we're starting to have conversations with them. Uh, um, again, the, the, the coffee spot, again, uh, down the road. So all of those small things that I, I think for me, they're so crucial. That's so crucial. Mm -hmm. It shows. It also shows that you're established in this area. Mm -hmm. You you know people see you again and again. You know um, you 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 come into the garage. The guys know you come this side. Um, but at the same time, it's it's not necessarily to say they're a project to you. But at the same time, you just you you you're loving them. You are blessing them with 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 whatever. Getting to know their stories and all of that. So I think for me, those small things that I'm, I'm gonna go to the same spot. I'm I'm gonna. Uh, uh, um, go down with with the guys that are there when they need to 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 have meetings at our school mm -hmm. and and go all of this and just participating in, in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. uh, which I think it, you know for us is almost early stages, but I think that's exactly what we want to do. How do we make sure that we become part of this neighborhood, mm -hmm. not necessarily just like a, a a church that is trying to get people to come to church on Sunday, but we want to be part of what's happening here, yeah? mm -hmm. and therefore I want to 
to be that at the local spa how can we serve them how can we pray for their for their employees all of those things that are those are the relationship we're trying to to establish brilliant yeah. brilliant man two things i'm hearing there um the 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 one and it's it's really really cool because it reno said the same thing yeah. right the the one is this idea of a theology of place or, yeah. or uh, dwelling or where you live you know not thinking of it as just a i, I lay my head there yeah but seeing it as like God has placed me there yeah. um, and, and I want to see it flourish. Yeah. And one of the best ways any area can flourish is when people are drawn to Jesus yeah. and have a relationship with him. Yeah. Um, and so I think of Jeremiah 29, 11, uh, a very well-known yeah. uh, piece of scripture uh, that I think too many people take out of context. Yeah. Um, and it's one of those where I always say it's important to read the text in context. Um, and so everyone loves that passage. Yeah. I know the plans that I have for yeah. you, right? Uh, and, and many people would finish it because they know it. But if you read what, what it says before that, mm. it's this idea of saying, hey, like I want you to dwell in the space yeah. that you're in and really think about how I might be able to put God on display. And, yep. and so the prophet tells the people, hey, you know, get involved, get invested um, so that you might seek the welfare yeah. of that city yeah. and, and of that space. And it sounds like that's what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. You're, you're constantly thinking to yourself, man, how, how might I be able to put God on display? Yeah. Because when that happens, this place will flourish. Yeah. So I really love that. And yeah. the other one is relationships, relationships, yeah. relationships, yeah. relationships. Like, man, I think you said it tons of times. Yeah. And it's so important that, you know, we need uh, to be thinking about how do we uh, relate with other people? How do we yeah. build relationships? Uh, and not just for the sake of relationships, but for opportunities to share the gospel. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, uh, yeah. I think, sorry, uh, uh, we, we come from a place, I mean, we come from a, a church tradition where when we spoke about evangelism, when we spoke about mission, it was very impersonal. Mm. It, was v it, it was just a matter of, guys, we've got some tracks Get, her, get around and we're just going to throw stuff at people's mailboxes. Um, I, I'm not trying to diss that. You know, that probably a place for that. Mm. But at the same time, I feel like people uh, long for relational uh, uh, interaction. Mm. And, and I think it's as much as we can do that, it can it can be so disconnected. Mm. And I think it, 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 it calls for people to do a bigger work to jump, like a, a big jump to say, man, from me throwing a paper at your mailbox and you coming to church on Sunday is a huge jump mm. rather than, you know, me talking to you and getting to know you. Uh, mm. Yeah. So yeah. good. I yeah. mean, Jesus could have thrown a track at us, but he didn't. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. showed up and, and built relationships. <laughs> there you go. There but that's go. probably a, a sermon for another day. <laughs> there you day. go. That's um, a sermon. But, um, but, but maybe let me ask this question in light of the Great Commission, yeah. right? So uh, we lean. Leant, I think that's the right word. Leant. We we pressed into. Okay, there, there we go. go there right. Go. We are Sakoa. <laughs> we pressed into um, Matthew twenty eight quite heavily uh, throughout this series, yeah. and, and that's because that's where Jesus gives us the great commission. Yeah. Um, there's various other places where he sends us out where yeah. we see it clearly that we are called to be on mission, but nothing more clearer than Matthew 28, yeah. the Great Commission. And so I just want to read it and then ask you a question in light of it. And so Matthew uh, 28, I'll read from verse 18. Uh, it says, Jesus came near and said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. But it's in verse 19 where he says, go therefore, right? Go therefore and then make disciples. Um, but the this phrase or this word Word in, in the original language, it, it can actually be better interpreted as "as you are going," yeah. right? And so it communicates this uh, this this idea of hey, it's not about go to a class, graduate from the class, and then go make disciples, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but rather, no, when you come to Christ. As you are going, as you are going to that class, yeah. because that class is important, right? Uh, yeah. It's crucial. It's necessary. I'd encourage it. But as you are going in your everyday life, be seeking to make disciples. So um, and so maybe my question in light of that is, um, is, is kind of how, how are you planning on setting up a church to ensure that it's missional from the get-go, yeah. right? Like, like, what are you thinking through to ensure that that's part of your DNA, that you're not waiting yeah. for year three, yeah. year five, sustainability. It's like, no, from day one, yeah. we are a missional church. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then maybe let me tie in, uh, what would that look like for individuals? So yeah. the church, 
totally get it but but what does that then look like in the life of a person yeah man that's that is so good um i think i think the advantage for planting for for being a church plant is that we have this uh, opportunity to start new culture with us so it's again it's not like you know we're four years in and trying to get the church to be missional um we have an opportunity to say man as we start how can we have a posture of being missional from get-go? Um, so I think it's something that's crucial. It's something that we're really thinking about. H- how can we do that? We have to put this in our DNA from get-go. And, and going, I'll, I'll get to the sort of the applications of that, but just getting back to this text, which is so crucial even when we talk about this. You know, I've, I've read this text uh, many, many times. What I've always lacked about this text is this the sandwich thing we see in this text, mm-hmm. which which I think is so crucial. You've got this the authority of Jesus. Jesus, the risen Messiah, is 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 giving us this 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 uh, commissioning, mm-hmm. and he's telling us, man. Or, or we we sing on this text. He's got all authority, mm-hmm. and then on the other end, he's gonna be with us till the end of the age. Mm-hmm. And there in the middle, go. So you've got these two anchors mm-hmm. that are that are. I'm like, man. It, without these two anchors. There's no way we're gonna do this. So good, so good. Uh, yeah, there's just no way. We're, so I've always appreciated that, and and also the the inclusivity of it all. You've got this this four alls here, all authority. You've got all nations. You've got teach them all things that Jesus commanded. He, I'm gonna be to all the days of your lives. So th- there's this inclusivity that's there to say, man, th- there's fullness in this thing. You know, we 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 go to all peoples. You know, so even which again is the is the big thing. I mean. One of the crucial things I've learned to root it is like, man, you got to uh, reflect the community you're in, mm. you know. So even with this, to say, man, you, you go to all peoples. What does Pretoria look like? Mm. And we want to see, and it's not some engineering thing or whatever, mm. but we're saying, man, it'd be, it'd be a bit amiss for us to be part of a, a certain community, but we're only reflecting sure. a certain part when you've yeah. been called to go to all peoples. So, um, so it's, it's, it's just one of those things that we, we want to, to, to try and, and, and put in with our team from get-go. And, and also even what we've been trying to talk about, we talk about that in our city groups, we're talking about even on our preview services, exactly this idea of mission. I mean, we're looking at it throughout the text. I mean, this is sort of the climax of this understanding of mission. Mm-hmm. But you, you've been getting the, 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 the whispers of, of this language throughout the Old Testament. Mm-hmm. And, and w- when you talk about, I mean, sometimes we, we only think about the church and we run to the New Testament without referencing it to the, to the story of the people of God throughout the Old Testament. Mm-hmm. And, and what, we ca- what we can miss is these pictures of the people of God, God setting them up for mission from get go and therefore we miss what those pictures look like to make an example i mean you you look at the old testament the 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 the, the main person who starts being sent out is abraham and abraham is called out with a mission to bless to be blessed and all people through him will be blessed and therefore the people coming through him will be a blessing to the nations Mm. so for him the commission is to be a blessing Mm. and therefore it'll be a blessing to to the nations and even israel when they come through abraham their call is to be a blessing to 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 the nations Mm. and there's another thing that sometimes we we can even miss as the church to say man how do we get into an area and become a blessing how how do we come into motorfontaine how does you know, rooted being in Pretoria, how do we come a blessing? And a blessing is a very holistic word. Mm. You know, it's in, I know sometimes we use a blessing for everything. Mm. You know, you could sneeze and I'd bless you. Bless you. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we use it for everything. But it's such a holistic word that talks about uh, 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 this, this shalom, this flourishing of, mm. of, of, of creation. And therefore, when you come into a place and say, man, how can we be a blessing here? We want to be a blessing spiritually. We want the gospel to be at the center. We want to be the proclaimers of the gospel. Mm. But at the same time, how can we look around and see broken places sure. and how can we bring shalom in that through the gospel mm-hmm. uh, so those are one of the things that are, 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 we're trying to bring in in early stages to say guys man we're not just going to be coming here and be consumers we're going to be blessers <laughs> i know in south africa because i'm using that word. yeah it's, it's a little touch and go it's a little touch and go but uh, we're going to be blessers but we have the bible here and <laughs> so we, we that's what we mean yes yeah. yes that's what i mean i mean that in a biblical sense how how do we become people of blessing um, but at the same time, and you see different pictures. You see these people who are set apart. Israel is formed for, to be set apart as the people of God. Mm. Man, that's one 
of those things. We want to be uh, an alternative community, not just, there's another thing, you, you, we want to engage where we are, but at the same time, we want to be people who are set apart mm -hmm. for God, mm -hmm. you know? And then the old, in the Old Testament, what I love about the Old Testament, it's so, it's so broad when it talks about even being set apart and being holy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we talk about holiness, people, we run into moral behavior and all of those things, which is which is crucial. But in a sense, I'm the oldest. I mean, I mean, you read the book of Leviticus; it's all talking about the holiness of the people of God. But it's it talks about the you being holy by how you interact with your neighbor, you being holy by how you welcome the foreigner, you being holy by how you you you, you deal with your finances, you being holy by how whether you get bribes or not, you give bribes. That's holiness, all encompassing. Sure. Um, and to be a people set apart for God are people who are doing things different. Differently, mm. and and making people to notice to say I mean in, in first Peter it says you know uh, uh, live your life in such a way that people you know look at you and glorify God mm. so we want to to live again that's, that's part of mission yeah you know sometimes we, we think of, of of holiness as a sense of we're doing it for its own sake mm. it's for mission mm. you know we want to live separate lives for the glory of God mm. for mission so all of those things that we're trying to put into the hands of our people man yeah. Let's, how can we build a community like this? It's going to be a blessing that's going to be set apart. That's going to be proclaimers of the gospel. Yeah. That's going to, you know, all of this thing that we see in, in the Old Testament. So we've been going through that as, mm. as, as a community, looking at the pictures on the Old Testament of mm. the people of God, and it's been such a blessing. So it's good. Such a blessing. So, so good. Yeah. And, and, yeah. I, and I, man, I love, I love everything that you're saying. Yeah. Um, I'm almost going, sign me up. Um, <laughs> yeah. but, but, but one of the things that sticks out to me is the, the, this idea of, or at least the phrase that I, or the, the two words that you put together that make one word um, is, uh, or three words, I guess, short term missionary yep. you know so so often we, we we know what that means you know yeah. and and when we want to go on a short-term mission trip man we we want to understand the scriptures because yeah. that's what we're going to share we want to understand jesus because that's who we're going to talk about yeah. and then we want to understand the context that we're in because we want to go in your yeah, blessing yeah um and and then when we come back it's almost like well now nah, i'm just going to chill and and you're saying, hey guys, I want I want to set you guys up. I, I want us as a community to to almost live in such a way that we are on a short term mission trip. Yeah. Um. And, and short term because we don't live here forever. Yeah. Our eternal home is is the kingdom of yeah. God, is being with God yeah. throughout eternity. But while we're here, short term mission trip. Yeah. So I want to know the word of God, old and new. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to know Christ, you know, and then I want to be a blessing. Yeah. Um. So I really really love that. It's yeah. Um. Maybe maybe one or two, uh, just some some tangible hands and put some hands and feet okay. to to what you're talking about. Uh, and I think you alluded to quite a lot of them. Um. You know, you spoke about uh, how, how do I become? How am I holy in my finances? How am I holy in my budget and my time? But but what are some hands and yeah. feet? Yeah. Uh, uh, things that you guys are doing. Yeah. Uh, right yeah. now. That's 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 so good. So so one of the things that we 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 starting. We're starting to do because I think we, we just had a new community. Some of the things are sort of still in the planning stage, but are some of the things the things that, that that are really on on um, that we we're doing. So in in I think I mentioned earlier to say in, in Morofontaine you, you you have a lot of parks. You have a lot of you know people like to to uh, take time and, and rest. Mm -hmm. So 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 to speak. I, I don't think it's it's yeah. They they want to work and and and, and take some time and rest. And we we try to be part of what's happening there mm. so we want to be involved whether it's it's i mean i will talk about man i was just hanging around at the market mm. uh, with the guys mm. how do we how do we you know just go and 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 and, and hang around get to know people and be part of this community mm. so we will do that get get the guys around and let's let's go hang out with mm. with the market down the road and let's go hang out i mean we've got uh, some of the things we're still planning we've got uh, 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 the the rene redeemable syllables guys who are with us there. We're trying to find ways of how maybe they can participate in 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 the music there, mm -hmm. or we can do certain things around the area where we're just gonna we're trying to to be a blessing in artistic ways. Yeah. Um, so all of those things that we we're trying to do, you know, uh, praying around the area. But like just I think for us the big thing right now that we're trying to do uh, right now is to get to know where we are. Yeah. We want to really yeah. get to know who's where, who owns this. What's happening here? All of those things, and therefore, and, and try and engage them in a, in a in a way that we, you know, we understand exactly where yeah. we are. Yeah, great man. Yeah. You mentioned the redeeming syllables. Shout out to them, um, and and hopefully we can share, <laughs> you guys, because um, we love you, you as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now that's really cool. Maybe maybe talk to us a little bit about 
some of the challenges of of sharing our faith. And so yeah. I'm, I'm picturing myself at one of the markets, you know, hanging yeah. out with the uh, Renewal Fellowship team. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm striking up a conversation with someone who, yeah. who doesn't know Jesus or, or, or maybe is familiar with the church, maybe grew up in the church, uh, but it's evident that they haven't surrendered their lives to yeah. Christ. Um, what, what are some of the challenges, in, in your opinion, both for the church and yeah. the individual in, in sharing our faith? Because I think one of the most powerful ways to do that is is your own story yeah. of how Christ has, has saved you. I mean, uh, the, the, the whole come and see. Right, like I, I don't have all the words. I, I don't have the doctrine in theology. I don't, but come and see. Yeah, this Jesus that has radically changed my life. But but having said that, what are some of the, what are some of yeah. the challenges? Yeah, I, I think some of the things that we that I'm even trying to communicate with 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 our team is is even before we get into the challenges, get to because uh, I think there's a there's a sort of a, a story that's there with not just our team, just Christians generally, with that they think that they've bought that that the secular story is true, that that people are fine. Mm -hmm. You know, they think that, you know, people are doing very well, you know, they've got two cars and two dogs. I mean, I don't want to disturb this person. They're mm -hmm. doing great. And and man, that's that's the story that uh, the secular culture is teaching us to say like, man, people are fine. Why, why are we going to come in and disturb them with something that's going to pull them back? People are doing very well, but actually they're not people. If you, if you take away the veneer that, that everyone needs to sort of put up, whether it's social media, all of this thing, especially in our cities, mm -hmm. people come through, they're working, they're doing all of these things. Mm -hmm. They want to show off that this, but man, if you pull that off and you get into, to interact with people, life is hard. Yeah. Life is hard. For some people, it's brutal. It's 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 hard, and 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 you find people having these exist, exist, existential questions on their own to say, "Man, twenty twenty, what a year! It's, uh, you know, it just pulled out everything that they thought it, it was supposed to happen," mm -hmm. and 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 they are asking questions. And and I think what I'm I'm trying to say is that the culture is telling us people are fine, mm -hmm. and I think some of the people in in our churches. In, in our communities have bought that. Man, you feel like you're the one who's bringing the bad news. Everyone is good. Mm -hmm. So they say, no, 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 actually, we know the brokenness of, of people and therefore we are bringing good news to people. And so this is the first thing, man, guys, people are not doing well. Let's, yeah. let's, let's not buy that. Because um, I think that's where the, the difficulty starts to say, man, I, I, I sh why can I, why should I have the conversation with my neighbor who's doing so well? Yeah. So I will say, man, get to know people. Yeah. Get to know people, get to know their story, and be open with them. People sometimes they just want you to make that first move to say, "Man, the lockdown messed me up. Mm -hmm. Like the lock, this is what happened. My marriage it really took a knock. Um, work, everything took a knock, and I'm I'm really struggling." Mm -hmm. And then they say, "Man, me too," mm -hmm. or, or or whatever. They they just want mm -hmm. just open up and talk to people, and 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 again, chat to them about the. the what's going on in your life, your mm. story. I mean, you, you said that. Just give them what's going on. Mm. A, and I think it's, it's, I think the time is moving away where as Christians, we've always wanted to show a good face, you know? And, and I think people have, have seen through that, yeah. you know? Yeah. Man, just what's really going on? I, I, it's so interesting because like, uh, um, I remember having conversations with you a, uh, probably a couple of years back. And we were talking about you were talking about the church you want to plant or something like that, mm. and you were like, "Man, I mean, theology is all good and doctrine is all good, and sometimes we can get caught up all of these things, and sometimes you guys are getting caught up in all of these things, because sometimes we miss that people are going through stuff and they need the gospel to be applied in their lives, yeah. um, and you need to be real. You know, some of you guys are just showing out this good face that are you know all of this theology, yeah. but you but you are you 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 crumbling your life is crumbling mm. i want to go there mm. and i was like oof okay <laughs> you know um and i think that's 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 sort of my posture right now to yeah. say guys life is hard for people and therefore we bringing the good news is is we want to go deep down where people everything mm. is crushing because mm. the gospel speaks into that sure. um so yeah just people giving people those handles um to say guys we're bringing the good news. We're not the bad guys. Yeah. Um, I think that's sometimes just a relief for people. Sure. Um, so so that's, that's sort of where I sort of start the conversation. And again, I think we, we've said this before, start rela relationships, yeah. uh, be part of the community. And I think that's, that's, that's where we are. 
Yeah. How do we how do we come close to the people here? Get to know what's happening. Get to know the stories of where they come from. I mean, we 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 live in 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 cities where I mean this, this I mean you, December everything closed down because people are gone. Yeah. Um. But find out that what's what's going on. You know, uh, where are people coming from? What's their stories? And that that actually gives you that connection point with people. Mm. And you will find that once you get to know that, once people sort of open up, it's just so easy to bring mm. the gospel. But at the same time. Please don't believe. Let me just actually look at the people. Don't believe the lie that people are okay out there without God. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so good. You know, so often we 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 want connections uh, through success yeah. with other people, yeah. um, and, and I think there's a place for that. Yeah. Um, but in reality, I think there is more connections to be made yeah. in brokenness with other people. Um, yeah. And and that's where you get the me too. It's like uh, where you know someone gets to share a story that you know they've gone through X, yeah. Y, and Z, and you sit there and if there's enough vulnerability there, and and I know you guys are hoping to create that yeah. with Renewal Fellowship, a space where people can come and be vulnerable and yeah. transparent, yeah. that you look around and you'd be like, oh, okay, it's 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 okay. This is a safe space for me to say, hey guys, here's who I really am. Yeah. Here's what I've gone through. And then in that you go, great. Well, the gospel doesn't leave you yeah. there. Here's what Jesus does, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and 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 it renews. The gospel renews. Yeah. Uh, and I have no idea if that's why you guys decided <laughs> on renewal <laughs> fellowship. But if you yes. if you didn't, then there we go. There's a story. I'll yes. get my cut. Yes. Uh, once you guys become a giga church. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's it that's that's powerful, man. That's really really yeah. powerful. And just a, just a quick one. I mean, you're right. You know, renewal, the gospel renews, the gospel renews people, the gospel renews the, the places where we are, and we want to be part of that. Mm. Um, so that's that's exactly where, where that is from. But I think also going back to how do we, you know, get our community to be missional, it, I, it's an interesting story. A friend of ours uh, from Durban, a, a, a church leader in, in, in Durban, um, recently... Uh, um, uh, referred a person who just moved from Durban to here who lives in our area. And he called me up and said, here's a person uh, who's around. In fact, oh yeah, they, they, they put the person, they gave the person my details. Mm -hmm. So the person contacted me. So this guy told me, man, this guy, he's an interesting guy. Um, meet up with him before you just put him in the community. Yeah. You know, so. well, one of the one of those guys, huh? <laughs> yeah. You're like, hey, just just maybe have a coffee, <laughs> yeah, just to yeah, make sure. Just, yeah. 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 So I met up with the guy, man. Such an interesting guy. Um, loves Jesus, mm. uh, but not your typical uh, 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 sort of uh, you know Christian guy that I'm sort of used to. Uh, different views on this, different views on that. Um, and man, I was like, man, this it would be so interesting having this guy in a community because I think he will even st stretch us the way we we think people should be. Mm -hmm. And it was something that I sort of uh, 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 sort of doubted to say, are, are, are people ready for that? Mm -hmm. Are people ready to have non Christians around us or Christians who don't think like us? Mm -hmm. Or because I think I, I come from a place where we were just so used to, you know, the, the, to have you know, a community where we all are alike, where everything, we all know the same thing, da 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 But like starting to see, actually, we should be in a, in a, in a space where there are people who are, are, are sort of moving from point A to point B, not in two days, but mm -hmm. some from people who take three months. But how does it mean for us to be a space mm -hmm. where people can, can wrestle with the faith? Uh, you know, and, and I think it's, it's something that I'm thinking about to yeah. say, because I think that's this being part of a missional church, yeah. not just to be a place where Christians feel safe, but even some non-Christians, we can be like, man, right. I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about what you guys think, mm. but man, I, I, I want to sit here and listen. I think it's a good space for mm. that. And, I, and I'm, I'm thinking on how we can create mm. that. Man, that's, yeah. that's really cool. The fact that you're even thinking about it, yeah. you're thinking about the people who haven't even yet decided like, hey, should I be thinking about God? What's the meaning to life? But you're already going, hey, I'm, guys, we need to be thinking about these yeah. folks because they're our neighbors, they're our colleagues, they're yeah. our family members. That's so, so good, man. Hey, I wish we had more time to unpack so much, oh, man. This man. has been so, so good. Um, but but as, I, as we wrap this up, let me... Yeah. Let me ask, are there any, anything that you would love for us to be praying yeah. for you, for Letabo, um, for your family, for yeah. the team? Yeah. 
how, what, what are some things that come to mind that you go, hey, if, if someone's listening to this, someone's watching this, yeah. man, I, if you have a few minutes, please pray these things for yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, just, just a b- before that, I do want to thank Rooted mm. for, for serving us in such a beautiful way for us being here doing a church plan residency. It, it, it was just something I thought was going to be this. It was that it, much more, <laughs> I think, just typical Rooted way out of the box things you know different but it was such a blessing to us Mm. and i think it has equipped us in ways that we could we could not even imagine Mm. so so thank you to the rooted team everyone thank you thank Thank you you. so much um so do do pray for us i mean firstly we we would be uh uh, uh, i think another thing that that i've seen with with that area people need community because again as much as people are working and doing all of these things they're on their own you know so we tr- we want to build an authentic community mm. and i think just just pray for that mm. how do we become that space for people mm. that space to breathe that that space for healing yeah. that space where they can hear the gospel without someone on their neck yeah. you know uh, uh, being sensitive to that i just just pray for that to be that that community mm. um, that authentic community um secondly we would be uh, pray that we would we would have I mean moving from next year you know Lord willing we'll, we'll be launching early in the year mm. but my heart is that we will launch with, with a couple of leaders around us mm. you know w- with within our team uh, so we can able to do a few things well so just pray that God will raise leaders with mm. w- w- with us I mean if it's, if it's 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 people within us or people coming in. But my heart would that we will we will train leaders and 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 set up leaders. So do pray for that, mm-hmm. um, and pray for gospel opportunities. I think that's a mm. that's a big one, man. Mm. Um, we're really thinking and 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 trying to see how we can um, serve uh, the the our area. But we really want to to find ways on how we can mm. you know God can open doors for us to mm. to bring the gospel. So just pray that God will open doors for the word mm. uh, and for the gospel. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Pray yeah. for that. Yeah. Great, bro. Um, and, and thank you for honoring us in that way. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the Rooted Fellowship family is one that I'm incredibly thankful for and, and proud of and just amazing people um, in every sphere of yeah. our, our little congregation. Yeah. Um, and so, so thank you for honoring them. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be praying those things for you. We're going to spend all of next, uh, all of this week actually praying um, for for you guys yep. uh, in in our various social media posts and so watch out for those. Um, but we're super excited for you, Sikle yep. and yep. Latavo. You guys are incredible leaders. You have built a phenomenal team around you, and that's evident. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know the Lord's going to bless you as you guys go out. Um, and so watch out for renewal fellowship if you're in the area. And you're looking for a church, uh, reach out to uh, Cicle. We'll have all their details connected to our various platforms. Renewalfellowship.co.za. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. One-stop shop. Yeah. Um, and uh, and be praying for them. Uh, if you are unable to join them, maybe you're part of the Rooted family. We're going to be praying for them. Um, but maybe you're in another city and you, you tune into what we're doing here at Rooted Fellowship. Be praying for the these guys. They're going to do an amazing work. In fact, let me, I'm going to close out and I'm going to pray for you Thanks, uh, in this time. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this opportunity that we could uh, gather like this and and just hear story after story after story uh, that has your fingerprints literally all over it. Um, Lord, we pray that you would continue to give vision uh, and leadership and strength to Sikle and Letabo as they continue to lead um, this team that seeks to plant a church uh, in the east of Joburg and to have a massive influence in there. Lord, I pray now for those people who have yet to hear uh, of the good news of Jesus, I pray that you are already softening their hearts, um, that they would get plugged into this community. Uh, Lord, I pray uh, that you would give creativity and innovation and that they would just come up with really, really amazing ways of building relationships and sharing uh, the good news of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit, lead uh, as we continue to follow. Uh, We know that, God, you are on mission. And it's by grace that you have invited us to be a part of that. And so, Lord, we want to make ourselves available. Um, And as we are going, uh, that we would be making disciples. Uh, Lord, we love you. We praise you. In Jesus' beautiful name we pray. Amen. 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 Young, the
I'll feel you Sometimes I don't Sometimes I hear you Sometimes I won't This I know With all my heart And all my soul When you feel distant and darkness near, my faith is waiting through doubt and fear. This I On my heart and on my soul. How incredible has that? Um, this was our last day for our Zoom in series. We hope that it has moved you and it has inspired you to go out there and do the work of the Lord. Please remember to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell on this channel and also follow us on the different social media platforms. We end all our services with a benediction, which means a good word. This is our good word. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your week. Goodbye.